Hi, everyone. Welcome to Pro Tools Answers, where usually three Pro Tools, eh, we'll say experts, discuss, demonstrate, and elaborate on your Pro Tools questions. But it's only going to be two people today. It's only going to be me and Anders because Dave is stuck on a train. So it's going to be two experts uh, talking about questions put to the Pro Tools community in AVID's official Facebook support forum. So my name is Andy Hagerman. I'm AVID's curriculum architect, I guess. Um, and we, joining me is Anders Motz, teaching over at Tone Craft Work. How you doing, Anders? Doing good. How are you, Andy? I'm doing all right. Doing all right. Yeah. I just, I just, you know what? I just got done writing the last chapters of the Pro Tools 110 book. And so I, I'm not writing new content for the first time in like three years. And oh. I, I am, my body is, is visibly relaxing, which is great. Yeah. I, uh, wow. Fantastic. I can't wait to, uh, to start teaching uh, that course. Uh, so I'm really excited about this. <laughs> yeah, it came out. <laughs> Thank good. you. Andy. Yeah. All right. So, so I, Anders, you've got the question today and it comes from David, but not the David that's not here. Yeah. This uh, is so from David, David. Uh, wrote, uh, wrote in the official Facebook forum. I'm done with Pro Tools. Running I, MacBook I, I guess Pro that ends, 16. I guess that ends the whole yeah. discussion. Okay. I mean, I mean he's done. <laughs> he's so he's done. probably not even listening not to us listening. anymore. But he's running a MacBook Pro 16-inch M1 Max, 64 gigabytes and uh, 4 terabytes internal. I mean, that's a powerful computer. Mm -hmm. He's got Monterey version 12.2.1, and he just opened uh, uh, or imported 160 tracks for a mix and have nothing on them. The buffer size is set to 256, mm -hmm. and cache is set to normal. Yep. CPU shows that uh, under 20% while playing, and I get AAE 6101 CPU overload errors nonstop. Okay. I can't work in Pro Tools at all anymore. Running Pro Tools Studio 2022.6.0. Does anyone have any idea what's causing this? Yes, we do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I prefer Pro Tools, but have done my last several um, in Logic, and I'm about to stay there moving forward. Such bullshit. Oh, sorry, we need to edit that oh now. Oh, my God. Uh, especially at $199 or whatever per year. Paid that for Logic and have no issues and more tools stock. I give up. Well... <sighs> I don't even know what to say there because he's, he's probably he's probably gone by now. But um, uh, that was a sixty one oh one error, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's um, he's throwing a sixty one oh one error. Yeah. So oh. so sixty one oh one is is typically that is a CPU can't keep up. So yep. so so let let's take a couple things out of 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 the running because he can he says he can get logic working. Great. That means his driver's okay. Right. Yep. So if he's using this, I'm assuming, by the way, if uh, assuming he's using the same interface for logic as he's using for Pro Tools and not getting a problem, we can assume that the driver is OK for the interface that he's using. That's number one. OK, so we got that. Take that out of the equation. Um, we can assume that. Um, sorry, we can't assume that the Pro Tools or the plugins are up to date, and that's where CPU starts to run out. Um, can, can I can I grab can I like uh, just inter inter uh, what what do you say here uh, Andy I need your interject um, exquisite interject yeah uh, looking at the Pro Tools compatibility chart by the way everyone should bookmark this page page and even better subscribe, subscribe to it to, so yeah. click on the little sub subscribe button and pro whenever Avid update the compatibility of Ed or their program uh, products you will get an email and yep. nothing else. And looking at his particular version, which is 22.6, we can see that it's compatible with Monterey, but not the version that David is using. And that, of course, can be a problem for you, David. You should always make sure that your system is actually compatible, which it's not. Right. So, so that's number one, right? So, so, so the version of Pro Tools could be incompatible. Now, if you go to... Um, go to Avid and search 6101 as an error, the, one of the first things it tells you to do is raise the hardware buffer. And this is a little bit of a smoke screen because, not really a smoke screen, but it, it, it usually doesn't solve the problem that's, that, that you're having. Um, 
6101, it says, okay, there you go. You can see it right there. So so some things to try. Try, try increasing the buffer size. Now, the reason why 6101 comes up is because the CPU is having a hard time with all the plugins. However, in this particular, particular situation where he's just got a lot of tracks playing back, changing the buffer size will not affect it because there's two buffers. Um, as we've talked about in other shows, the buffer size setting that you set in the playback engine window only affects tracks with a live input. Okay. So, and that's not the problem he's having. So I doubt that he's having a problem with, with a buffer. I think that that is not the solution to his problem here. Um, yeah. I think what the solution to his problem is, is either, as you say, um, Pro Tools is not compatible with his operating system, or just as likely and far more common is when he updated um, his operating system, which which Apple loves to force you to do as quickly as possible. Um, or maybe it came with his computer. Or maybe came with his computer. That, version. Yeah. Um, that a plugin, one of the plugins in his plugins folder is not up to date. And what happens is, even if you're not using them in your session, it loads the plugin, right? So Pro Tools, if you take a look at the at the screen, when Pro Tools starts to boot up, it's loading all the plugins that you have, right? And if there's what's called a CPU leak, in other words, if that plugin is not working correctly with the operating system, then that plugin will just use up all the available power. And even if it's not in your session, it can still be a problem. And my guess, is that if he was to take you know the plugins out of his plugins folder, put them in the unused folder or anywhere else, launch the session again and just check to see if it's working, it would work. That's mm -hmm. my guess. Yeah, I mean, uh, make sure that you are compatible with everything, operating system and uh, and things like that. And Andy, you mentioned before that his interface is probably up to date and working, mm -hmm. but that is also something that is worth checking because not all interfaces are compatible or have a driver that are that is compatible with every uh, with every operating system. So definitely check that as well. And. Uh, uh, I, I think you're right. I think this is down to a plugin right, as well. Plugin, but yeah. um, uh, the only way to know uh, would be, be to have David uh, David uh, email us and yeah, let us know no. how you how you how you how you went here. I hate um, to, I hate to see people so frustrated that they that they you know jump out because this is the thing. Is you, forgive me for getting on my soapbox. Is you know he's moving over to Logic, which is completely fine, right? Logic is a is a is a lovely dog. But it's one of the things that that make make me not mix in it is because the 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 plugins aren't sample accurate, right? So, you know, you've got latency problems, and you've got, you know, there are things going on, especially when you're mixing, in Logic that just aren't problems in Pro Tools. As long as you yeah. keep you know all your system up to date, and you, know, you do you do all the, the the housekeeping that you need to do. So I just hate to see people give up on on something without really giving it a, a really giving it a shot and doing some research which is what he's doing by the way he's asking the question he's expressing his frustration but he is asking the question so hopefully he's hearing the answer here's my recommendation pull your plugins out of the plugins folder launch the session if it works you've identified the problem right there and then what you need to do is then progressively add plugins back in and then when you find the problem where 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 it won't play then you know that's your plugin that's that's out of date which is a bit yeah. of a pain. Yeah, totally. And and uh, there are two uh, small issues as well uh, uh, that I'd like to address uh, sure. here that are probably not as important as, as the other things here. But looking at one of the screenshots uh, uh, that you did here, David, uh, is we're seeing that you are having a lot of other applications running in the background which is of course also taxing your computer and the one that is prob could cause a problem is probably photoshop is running in the background on uh, on your end as well which might cause a problem for you it could um and then there is one more thing andy i maybe we need to cut this out of the, of the show i don't know oh, no. <laughs> but sometimes i get a feeling that people in the the pro tools forum are frustrated by something like david here i, I understand that you're frustrated but a lot of the times I get the sense that they actually don't want to solve their problem. They just want to pat <laughs> on their shoulder telling and people telling them, yeah, you're right. Proto Protoss is shit. 
because nobody wants to hear, no, I'm sorry, you're do doing something wrong. But in this case, it's, it's clearly evident. It's not Pro Tools' problem. Uh, you need to have your stuff up to date and uh, and don't be one of those guys just nagging and expecting everyone to like I got your back you you are in the right Protoss is shit yeah, Protoss you know, isn't I, I mean interesting interesting topic you know I think one of the one of the marks of of a of a professional somebody who 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 really can make it in the business is regardless of I mean almost regardless of the profession is your ability to manage stress because when you when you work at the higher levels, things will happen that will put success in jeopardy, right? Uh, and I remember I, I had a um, I, I was doing an arrangement with a with a producer over here in Tokyo, and we were playing. We were doing a session collaboration. We were using projects, right? And we were sharing tracks and all that stuff. And the server crashed. Avid server crashed. And we lost oh, well. all of it. And I felt awful. I felt absolutely, I felt completely responsible um, because, you know. Was this when, was this when it was in beta still? No, this right? was, this, no, it no. wasn't. But it was, it oh. was, it was, it was early enough that, that it was kind of like, ooh, this is cool. Let's try this. And he's like, mm. okay, let's do it. And, and I just remember, you know, I, I'm like, I was stressing and I felt bad. I felt guilty. And, and he goes, he just, he goes, deep breath dropped an f-bomb and you know what he did he got right back to work and we we recovered it we did we did all that we did to do nothing more was said about it we just got down buckled down and finished the project and i'm like that's that's what i want to do i i, I want to be able it. to to look at it experience the appropriate amount of stress and then and then move on from there, right? And I, I think, by the way, that's not a, for anybody. For I mean, I'm I'm a musician, right? Same kind of thing. You will feel stress no matter what you're trying to do, and how you deal with that stress determines how long you're going to last in that profession. Well spoken. And uh, and so I think with that personal opinion bomb. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to end it up. Um, as always, if you want to check us out, you can go to protoolsanswers.com. And if you hit the subscribe button, I'll send an email to you. It's not a stalky kind of thing. Just an email to you, letting you know what the show's going to be up uh, this week. Um, we have Pro Tools Answers Inner Circle, um, which is different than, than Pro Tools Inner Circle. An amazing coincidence, but it's different. And, uh, and Anders does master classes, and there's different levels of, of, of membership for that. Um, what, am I, what am I forgetting, Anders? Um, yeah, you need to like and subscribe in YouTube oh, as well. Of course, of course. Um, the YouTube mantra. If you, if you like it, mm -hmm. subscribe, hit the bell at the bottom. Um, uh, other than that, uh, thank you, Anders. Thank you, Andy. Okay, and uh, it's just the two of us, and we're Pro Tools Answers, and we're out. <laughs>